Hello, Simon from What Culture here, and I'm with Simon Gotch, my man, my friend. I've decided you're my new friend. I hope that's all right. Uh, we, we had a great back and forth that was completely missed. So, we did. yes, we, we, were, we are friends now. And I feel like we bonded we within that, in those few minutes we, that we were we chatting. We did. If we bonded any closer, we would be some sort of a weird amalgam like in The Thing. I've always wanted to be that. And honestly, when I used to see you, you know, when I first started seeing you, I thought, I think we could be, we could be that, that guy. You know what the weird thing is? If you and I get mixed together, you know what happens? No. Joe Hendry. Okay. Is that really what it is? We become it Joe is. Hendry. We do. Why, why Joe Hendry? I don't know. He's just the only other person that works for What Culture whose name I know. <laughs> he doesn't actually work for What Culture anymore either. Oh, God. But sorry, no one's watching this. I'm just going to get in close. I'm going to uh, whisper it in your ear. doesn't work for What Culture. But he did, and that's all that matters. It does. We don't forget our alumni. No, we don't. We, I don't. No, no, you don't. No, how I, are you anyway? You well? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, 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 actually, I'm here with Dark Light Clothing. Sure you, you are. Can see. Yeah, they're going to give him a very nice t-shirt because he, he's, a, he's a very fit man. Look at him. Like, eh, you know. I, no, hey, hey, you know. I, I'm not, but I would. <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate it. This is why we're friends, you see, it because is. you build my confidence up all it's the time. It's what I'm here for. I'm a confidence builder. Hey, that is why they. That's why I was in a tag team. Aiden English used to have terrible self-esteem. Is that actually true? Did he really? No, no, no. He has wonderful self-esteem. Okay. He's an actor. <laughs> actually, no, I think everyone who acts has, hates himself. Everyone in wrestling, I think, hates themselves at least a little bit. I that's why so. we. That's why we do this. Wrestling is an industry where we demand the attention and adoration of people we hate. That says a lot about us you as human what? beings. That is the best description of wrestling I've ever heard in my life. It really is. It's, we, we have such a combative view of our, our audience. I mean, you would, never, you would never hear an actor talk about someone who goes to a movie the way we talk about wrestling fans. It's We're true. terrible. We are awful people, and yet we will, we will literally mutilate ourselves for their approval. It's true. And then they say you didn't mutilate yourself enough, and then you, I didn't say that word well at all. Mutilate yourself enough. You're British. And then it's you okay. It just sounds like it's, it's normal. Does it really? It does. Can you, can you hear my British accent? A lot of people today have told me I sound Australian. No, no, you definitely sound British. You know, the, the worst accent I've ever had to deal with, uh, and I love him to death, but uh, Joe Coffey. It's strong. He's very, it's a strong coffee accent. I mean, he's very Scottish. <laughs> he's you, very Scottish, yeah. I've never been so unsure of what someone was saying to me. What, did you just nod and go, yep, sure, I did. whatever. And then he's like, no, we're up right now. And I went, oh, that's what you were telling me. We're so then, our match is up right now. Okay. And how did you understand him in the ring then? That must have been I difficult. Didn't. So what did you do? I kept saying, what? <laughs> and getting worried. How was the match? Oh, it was actually a lot of fun. Really? Uh, it was for BCW. Okay. Uh, so it was, uh, yeah. But it was, it was a very odd one because I thought we were, because we were the only announced uh, match. I didn't realize there was a, that we weren't, I thought so I figured we were the main event. Yeah. But there, apparently the title match was, I didn't even realize there was a title match. So you, to this day, you just sort of walked through life not knowing what was going on. I, that's really how I go through life for the most part. I don't know what's going on most of the time. Okay, I, cool. I'm really not even sure where I am right now. You're in All In, we're in Chicago, and you're talking to me, Simon. Simon and, for what culture? And I actually, I asked earlier why Darby Allen hasn't done a knockoff t-shirt because he spells it like Gigi Allen, obviously, but in the same way it's all in. Yeah. So I'm surprised he hasn't had just like Darby and then the all in. Why look. don't you pitch that to him and you can get 10% of his sales? Because I don't want 10% of his sales. I, I <laughs> it's money. I'm offering you money here. I know you're offering me money, but I'm a man of moral character, which oh. is why I don't have a job. But You have a job? Well, I do jobs. I don't have a job. No, look at me. You're so quick. I like it. How is the world of wrestling for you at the moment? Look at that. I'm so great back into wrestling, just like oh, that. Oh, you're making me, making me talk about real things. Uh, it's wonderful, actually. I'm working for a major league wrestling, MLW, right now, uh, predominantly. Uh, also, just sort of appear around random places because I'm like a ninja. I just pop up. I've always, again, ninja, algamation in the thing. Nice. And, you know, a nice guy. This is all the things that I've associated with you over the years. Also, the chiropractic place right over here. I didn't even know. These guys are probably making a killing off the wrestlers. That's a... Yeah, it's unrelated. There's a chiropractic place right across from us in the booth. Have you visited them yet? I haven't. You look in good spirits. So you don't like you're not bent over or limping or anything like that. No, actually, it was a running gag in developmental um, because I'm 35. I, I've been wrestling since I was uh, 18. That's incredible. Oh yeah, a long time. A lot of people don't know that, but because um, they haven't been on my Wikipedia page, <laughs> which is weird. People Wikipedia everything. They don't Wikipedia me. I will as soon as the interview's done, I'm going to stand up. No, I can't go upstairs. No signal, and then I'm going to Wikipedia you. There we go. I may edit your Wikipedia now. Excellent. But you know, add in. Then I'm a private detective. And a ninja. Just, and a ninja. Private detective ninja. Oh, yes. To be fair, you should take up that job. That sounds much better than pro wrestler. I feel like homing masks could help me out with that. They're over there, too. Why but, are you pimping everybody else's booth? Why? Because the good people at Dark Light Clothing didn't bring me here just to put them over, even though they have all these fine shirts. Look at that. Look at that. We just, I feel like we're a pair for life. I we, set you up, are. you knock them out of the park. Really? What was my point? I was making a point there for a second. I forgot what it was. It's on your Wikipedia page. Yeah, how did I get to that? Because you were, you were a private detective I'm ninja. I'm a non sequitur, but unfortunately, I don't know where a sequitur is from. From. Okay, That's, I'm going to bring it back because you mentioned back. Aiden English earlier. Do you still talk to him? Uh, not recently, no. no. Uh, mostly just because he's working, I'm working. Yeah, we got our jobs. Yeah. That was me just trying to bring it back to wrestling, by the way. Ah, it's the only question that popped into my brain. Oh, well, there are better ones. Go on. You ask me. You know, don't ask me a question about wrestling. Nobody wants to see that. 
Okay. I mean, I was genuinely kidding. Nobody wants to see you interview me. About no one wants to see me interview you. You're yeah. like the, the interest of this video. I'm but just I, the guy I'm with very, the microphone. I'm not very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm very bland. I don't think ask, that's ask anyone on the internet. I'm a, apparently, I'm a 5'9 vanilla midget. You're not 5'9. It's on the internet. It's true. I'm 6'1", so you've got to be 6'1 and a half, something like that? No, nah, I'm about 6'1". Our noses are the same height. That says a lot because I'm Jewish. Okay. I'm Jewish too. That would explain That's it. That's how we get on so it well. Is. It's the Jew connection. It is. No, I never thought that the conversation was going to go there. It, it, you never think it's going to go there, but no, it always does. It's, <laughs> if it's two Jews in the same room, eventually they start talking about being Jewish. Two Jews walk into a building. It's just, it's and, a and, and they joke. start talking about being Jewish. Exactly. It's like we, because we, once one of us will complain about something, and then all of a sudden it's like, it's like, is it too hot in here? Yeah, it is. It like, is. But then we can go eat some nice bread. Jews yeah. do good bread. We do great bread. Yeah, challah is just a wonderful, a wonderful it, treat all around. Have you ever had challah French toast? No, I haven't. Oh, it's amazing. I just can't believe we're talking about, we're talking about we French toast. so minimally about wrestling in this, which but, is really the goal. Don't worry. I'm going to predict this. All the comments right now will say this Simon did me Simon didn't let him talk about wrestling at all so I'll take the heat so it's all good oh, no, it's, it's, it's all right if you do um, but no the, the thing with most wrestling stuff obviously I'm with MLW as I said and I appear really any random place I was actually just in Chicago last week uh, for Zello Pro um, which I highly recommend the match uh, it was myself and uh, Pat Monix and Pat bled a lot and I did some gross things because I am a terrible person I spat vodka in the wound wait, 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 wait. say that one more time I spat vodka in, in the his, wound. In the wound. He, his head was cut open, and I spat. I asked for a shot of vodka off the bar, and I spat vodka in the wound. This is the first time during our chat that I feel like we've disconnected a little bit, because that's that's crazy. I I'm a believer that if you're going to to, to do something such as a, a match that's a bit rougher, we were doing a knockout only match, that you kind of have to get rough. You can't really, you can't. How can I put this? Well, the name of the event. You can't go halfway. You have to go all in. You can't. You can't. You have to give everything you have to it. So it was an idea. Um, I also was offered a beer and did the most offensive thing. As an as a Englishman, you can appreciate this. I dumped it on the ground. That is going to annoy a lot of people. Yeah, it is because they were expecting me to drink it. I was like, no, I don't like beer. I'm just not a beer drinker. I never have been. Um, I, I, I'm a firm believer that the only legitimate reason to drink is to become inebriated, and beer is a very inefficient way to do that. You're 100% so you're correct. Yeah. I like you. You're very efficient. I try. You're a very efficient human. So I'm going to end this interview with the most boring question ever, because then I felt... <laughs> yeah, that was... Wow. Oh, that, oh, that, that would be the, the most exciting question Yeah, ever. that's the length of my forearm. It's, that's, what it's, I thought. that's what I thought. But of course, we're here at All In. Are you excited about All In? Do you think All In like is an important moment in independent wrestling? It is. Um, it basically proved the uh, point that there's a market, uh, which for a long time has been the argument. Uh, the argument that people have had with independent wrestling is that there's no real market for it, that it's you know the, the traditional 100 nerds in a basement, those are the only people that watch it. And the reality is, is it's actually a, it's a growing market, if anything, because people are starting to realize there's more to it than just what they've seen in WWE or what they remember from WCW or the NWA. Professional wrestling on the whole is... Uh, a very expansive art form. It's not nearly as uh, myopic as people believe. If you say pro wrestling, most people in America particularly, the image that comes in their head is Hogan and Andre. Two big behemoths, one of whom is physically uh, debilitated from his giantism, the other one who has limited athleticism, clashing in a slow, plodding, uninteresting match that if it wasn't for the exceptional marketing of it, would have been bad. Which, that's personal opinion, I do feel that match is a, hundred, a great example of brilliant marketing because it's built around the ideas of Andre's never been beat, Andre's never been pinned, Andre's never been slammed. Andre had not only been slammed, he'd been slammed on WWF TV by Hogan. And it was like the third move of the match in 1979. So that match was brilliantly promoted. All In is an example of people are actually coming together and looking at wrestling and going, it's not necessarily that. It can be athletic. It can be, it can be campy and hilarious. Uh, from England, obviously, have you ever been down to the, uh, any of the uh, Lucha Britannia shows? I have, yeah. I've been there a lot. I like those guys. They're in uh, nice as well. Uh, Gary and Greg are great guys. Uh, I've actually worked out at the school a couple times. It's the happiest wrestling school I've ever been to. <laughs> but it's an example of wrestling it can be burlesque. Wrestling can be, you know, it can be Lucha Underground, where it's basically a, a, an action drama TV show with wrestling action sequences. We're not limited by anything. Wrestling is a, one of the greatest quotes. Uh, Ken Hirayama, who used to work for Pro Wrestling Noah, had said, pro wrestling is everything. It can be realistic combat-based stuff like uh, uh, UWFI or battle arts. It can be lucha athleticism. It can be comedy. It can be anything. You can do anything in a pro wrestling match, literally anything. And as long as it tells a story and engages people emotionally, they'll enjoy it and they'll pay to see it. All In is an example that we can finally, as a, you know, an industry, go, we're not limited to, it has to be this. It can be anything and people will still pay to see it. 
Simon Gotch, interesting, intelligent, and now I'm up close, has the best moustache I've ever seen in my life. I, I don't think it's the best one you've ever seen in your life, but I think that you're willing to say it, which I appreciate. I'm just so impressed by your answer that I'm in awe of you right now. That's how I feel. That's how most people feel when they talk to me, and then, then they walk away and they're like, that guy's an asshole. No, I'm, not, I'm going to think that about myself, because I feel like I can't live up to the, the standard that you've set. You can live up to it. You know how? How? Grow the mustache. Grow the mustache. Do it. Grow the mustache. Do it. <laughs> do it. I'm going to do it. You heard it here. Simon Gotch, I'm going to grow a mustache. Was, you, was, you were just a smart man. I was really intelligent. I really enjoyed it. Earlier you said you were boring. Absolute lies. I, I am a liar. I mean, what can I say to that? I just don't believe anything you've just said now. You just ruined everything. You just took away probably 15 minutes of solid gold and you flushed it down the toilet. That's what I'm really good at. Uh, is it? Oh, oh yeah. No, I, I, can, I can kill a room like no one's business. It's, still, it's a skill. It is. No one does it better than you. Any, anyone, can, anyone can draw a crowd. I can make them leave. I mean, That's hard. Exactly. And, it, and also, it's good, though, because if it's closing time, you want people to go, you bring out Simon Gotch. Si side note, many years ago, I went to see Les Claypool in The Holy Mackerel uh, live, which uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, Les Claypool is uh, a primus. And uh, Bob Seacock, who was one of the uh, producers for Primus, uh, they, they, Les said he was going to impart some wisdom, and he sang an a cappella version of the song Closing Time. And that was that. Oh, and people loved it. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they love that? I'm not going to lie. I just heard a lot of weird names then. Simon Gotch, I was going to say thank you very much for your time. That was a pleasure. I really enjoyed that. You made me give you the dead fish. You see, you've got to That's wait until you feel the web. Okay, there, there we go. We go. That's uh, it. It's actually because i got a shoulder injury at the moment. I'm still protecting oh. my arm like an idiot. You know... Again, another non sequitur because I love these. Uh, Carl Gotch, who my name was brilliantly stolen from, uh, one time did a workout with uh, Terry Taylor. Uh, what was his name? Uh, not make up, make not Paul Roma. Um, French or not not French, French Canadian with the uh, perfume. Oh, uh, Rick Martel. Rick Martel, thank you. Uh, so it was, it was Terry Taylor, Rick Martel, and his own son-in-law, uh, who was a Japanese guy. So for about three hours, he stretched all three of these guys mercilessly. Just tried to make them amateur wrestle with him, catch them, just beating the hell out of them. Finally, it's over. His shirt's soaked through with sweat, and he goes up to him and goes, can you guys help me take my shirt off? He apparently had a torn rotator cuff, couldn't lift his left arm. So for the last three hours, he beat up these three young men with one arm, and none of them noticed. That's ridiculous. So your shoulder injury does not impress me, I guess, my point. I feel like you I still mean, beat people up. I I don't deserve to impress anyone in any sense, especially not my shoulder Look injury. That Look at that vein. You look, you look like Brian Cage right now. That's, no, come on now. You look, like, you look like Brian Cage 10 years ago. How about that? There we go. <laughs> I'll take that one. Simon Gotch, thank you very much. Thank that was a very good that. interview. I enjoyed that. And I good luck with everything in the future. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.